Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Angry Dave's Adult RC. I'm your host, Angry Dave. This week we're back at it with the Sand Scorcher build. And uh, we're going to start out with the Servo. Um, there wasn't really a whole lot of shit to do in this step, so I just went ahead and did it. All you're doing is grabbing your Servo, screwing on the horn, and putting uh, that ball on there. I think you can handle that. So, moving on to step 17. Looks like we're actually going to start putting together the electronics box and uh, the last uh, couple of pieces of the steering linkage. So let's uh, get the pieces laid out, take a look at those. Alright, so here's all the components we need to uh, complete the electronics box. Got the bottom of the box itself, we got the electronic speed control, we got the receiver, going to use a Traxxas receiver because I can bind uh, multiple receivers to a TQI controller and I don't have a separate controller for this vehicle yet. Uh, we got a brand new Tactic Servo um, that I pulled out of a Wraith Spawn kit, uh, replaced immediately when it was brand new, so that's never been run. We got our rod ends, our steering rod, some double-sided tape, and a couple of rubber uh, dust shields. Um, that uh, little collar thing is part of the dust shield and a grub screw for it. And then the uh, foam that uh, holds a battery that doesn't fucking exist. Uh, I've only ever actually even seen a picture of the thing on Tamiya's website, and I'm not really sure if you can actually buy it. I guess I'll have to go back and check. Uh, something tells me this uh, Tamiya, Tamiya, whatever, speed control uh, is probably going to be short-lived in this vehicle, um, as is uh, a lot of the design. Um, this entire box thing I don't love. Um, I don't love the uh, ball and socket um steering links and shit like that like that shit just all seems like really weak and hoopty so uh i might have to go back and do something different with that sooner or later um uh, probably sooner than later but for now let's uh let's get this fucking shit assembled All right, there we go. Step 17 is complete. We got receiver in there securely, servo, foam, speed control, wires all run, steering rod connected. It's time to move on to the next step. This grommet was a bit of a pain in the ass, but we got it in there. 
So yeah, next step, here we come. All right, so here we go with step 18 and 19. We're gonna do uh, both steps in one shot here because they're both pretty simple. Just gonna put the uh, quarter turn fasteners onto the top and screw on the switch. And then just gonna screw on the front, add the boot and screw the thing to the chassis. Pretty simple. So let's uh, take a look at what we're gonna need to do it. Here's everything we're gonna need. Starting with uh, the so far complete chassis. We got the top, we got the springs and quarter turn fasteners. We got the uh, front nose piece that they call the receiver case. Um, we got the rubber boot for the switch. We got uh, two washers for the screws that go to the switch. The four screws for the receiver case. We got a zip tie that we can secure the uh, excess switch wire with. And then we got the uh, second screw and rosette washer to attach it to the chassis. So let's go ahead and uh, get this pitch assembled. Alright, so as you can see, we got a complete chassis with the complete electronics box on there. Thing is actually starting to look like a vehicle. Now, time to move on to step 20, which is going to be putting together the wheels. Ooh, finally, we get to put together the wheels and get them on. That'll really make it look like a complete vehicle. So let's quit fucking around and get on it. Alright, so here we go with the wheels and tires. Got the fronts, got the rears, got the bazillion screws to put them together. First thing we're going to do is go hit them with some primer and then hit them with a coat of silver because uh, I don't like bare white plastic. And uh, if you hit them with the right color silver and a little bit of clear coat, you can make them look like polished aluminum without spending money on polished aluminum. So let's go uh, get out the rattle cans. All right, so here we have the freshly painted silver wheels. I can't wait to see what these wheels and tires look like together. They're going to look great. Uh, we skipped the clear coat because uh, I tried uh, experimental uh, clear coat combinations with a couple silvers and a couple different clear coats on uh, different plastic materials. And uh, I wasn't getting good results. So uh, I just sprayed the silver on there and uh, it looks like I want it to look. So let's uh, get to assembling these wheels.
there's all four tires and rims mounted and we got all the stuff pulled out here to accomplish step number 21 this pretty much makes it a complete roller get the wheels on get the antenna on and uh yeah then we'll really be ready to rock almost Things looking pretty decent we're all the way up to step 24 we're gonna go ahead and skip step 23 which is painting it because I'm not real sure exactly how I want to paint it yet so we can go back and do this later and uh, I don't have a battery um, for it just yet so I don't have to worry about step 22 so on to the pipes got the pipes out here all ready to go already masked and ready to paint we're gonna paint them uh, flat white give them kind of that 70s 60s vintage ceramic coated pipe look and uh, then we'll go back and do some flat black on the inside of the uh, horn so it looks like they've been run and i taped off the areas that we need to stay clean so when i glue them together they should get maximum bondage so uh, let's go ahead and uh, spray some white
right, so there it is complete, the Tamiya Sand Scorcher. The last thing we're going to do uh, before we take it out and give it a rip is just attach the body mount to the back of the body. Uh, I'm not going to run the body while I test run it. Uh, I don't want to take a chance on uh, effing it up before I get it painted. I want to make sure it's got a nice uh, hard bought paint job on it before I go fuck that up. Um, but uh, as soon as we get that body mount attached, we'll take this bitch outside and rip it up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and throw this battery in. It's a Florion 7.4 volt 2S LiPo, 35C discharge, 1500 milliamp hour. Uh, I've never used this brand of battery before, but it was about the right size. Came with a Dean's plug on it, and uh, it was only $18.99 for a pair on eBay. So let's uh, see how they do. All right, so we've been running for about five seconds. And this stupid fucking ball and socket popped off already. It's way too easy. This thing is gonna need some serious re-engineering. I'll rip it for another minute or two and see what I get out of it. Well, I can tell you it's not super fast with a 2S LiPo, although I wasn't really looking at making it fast. I kind of want to use it as a trail vehicle because it's so scale, but uh, this thing is going to need some serious re-engineering. So uh, I guess that's going to do it for this test run. Not a very long one, not a very impressive one, but it is still a cool car. It's got some potential. It's just going to need uh, a little bit of work. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get our videos as soon as they're uploaded. And we'll see you next time on Adult RC, where grown-up time is playtime.